morning everyone it is saturday the first of june me and simon are back in snowdonia again we're going to take a hike up to moyle alio today and also taking the summit to voile gron voile gork we might do moyle king horion but we'll have a look at that when we get up there i've parked the car down there somewhere by the piles of slate there's a little car park there just got to the bottom well the start of the walk really come through the gate and then just a case of following the os map route up to the top of Moilelio. the summit stands at 726 meters so not a massive mountain the weather the weather forecast looks pretty favourable. It's a little bit cloudy at the moment, but that's meant to burn off later. And tomorrow, much of the same, which is um, decent hiking weather, to be fair. So yeah, we're gonna take a hike up now, do three or four summits, and we probably will camp on Moyolelio, so we're going to do the summits, then come back and then pitch up there somewhere. It's, um, it's grassy and quite level. So hopefully we'll um, get the views today and tomorrow. That's what this camp's all about, We're trying to get the views of Snowdonia on top. And hopefully the weather plays ball. Right, let's push on. We haven't been out for a while, and uh, I find it quite tough to start with. Um, I've got to start getting back into this hiking because my fitness levels have dropped quite a bit so I've got to start getting back into the swing of it because it's uh, it's tough going just taking the top off because it's really warm it's the start of June so hopefully more better weather to come and more hiking I definitely need it. We're getting to the steep bit now. Up there. Is it a false summit? I don't know. Just show you a few of the sites as we're walking up. You've got Hlin Padan over there. You've got the village of Hlamberis. You've got the Denorwick Quarry. Lydia Vawa is above that. And there's those tents you said, they were tents, but they're not tents. Oh yeah. I, I thought they were tents, like people collapsing tents and moving out of here. They're not, they're hang gliders. <laughs> <laughs> or paragliders. paragliders one or the two yeah. they look like tents like people putting tents down anyway This is the summit of Moyle Alio, 726 metres. You've got a stone cairn over there, which we'll take a look at in a minute. There's a couple of people in there, so we'll let them have their space. And we'll go and check it out. But have a look at these views. Absolutely stunning. That's Voile Gron, 
Voil Gork is the next one over. You got Moil King Hori on. We're gonna try and do M3 pigs today. We probably won't film it all, we just get to the summit of each one and show you that. And then we're gonna probably come over here and pitch up on over here for the night. As you can see, it's all grass, there's a few rocks there, not too many. Looks pretty level, pretty flat. We'll have all them views then, and hopefully all the clag will clear. So, yeah, brilliant. We've had a bit of a rethink what we're going to do. We're going to do Voil Gron, Voil Gork, Moil King Horion is a bit far for today, so we're going to give that a miss, come back another day and box that one off. We're going to ditch the packs. We're going to hide them down the side there, just um, hide them out of the way. And hopefully no one will find them. They shouldn't do, because people come up here, they just follow the fence line and carry on hiking really. So, yeah, we're going to ditch the packs down there, grab a bottle of water, a couple of spare batteries. We're going to take a hike over there, come back, and then just chill out up here for the, for the afternoon, pitch up and yeah, have a, have a nice wild camp. As you can see, the clag's just rolled in a little bit. There's the Moyle Alio shelter can. Decent size in fairness. Very handy on a windy day. Just looking down that gully there, right, there's a peregrine falcon dive bombing and there's about six six crows chasing it. I'm assuming the peregrine's got a nest on it and it's after the eggs. I don't know, I might be wrong. But that was quick. That's where we come from, Voil Gork. Made our way, way around to Voil Gron, drop down. And we got one final ascent up to the summit of Moil Alio. Go and retrieve our packs. And then we'll um, we'll have a look on top and see where we can pitch up. And hopefully get our tents up. We are back on the summit of Moil Alio. Thankfully the bags were where we left them. So we're gonna have a chill out now. Might make a coffee or something, but we can't set up yet. It's a bit early, really, isn't it, Simon? Yep. Far, far so we're going to wait another couple of hours and then put the tent up. But thankfully, it's a bit hazy still, but it looks like the clag's clearing, yeah. which is good.
time for a coffee and a Trek chocolate protein bar. I'll keep me going for a bit while we play the waiting game. <laughs> Pitch our tent. Oh, that's nice. Well, all the clag is gone and all the cloud. Uh, it was forecast to disappear late this afternoon, and it has. So it's still a bit hazy over the Snowden Ridge. There's some cracking views up here. We we'll pan round to the right. Mellis Mower, Nanfler Ridge, over there. Yeah, cracking views up well. We're hoping that it gets a bit, you know, a bit more clearer than this, so fingers crossed. Yeah, it's absolutely stunning like. If anyone's wondering, Snowden is but there. Cracking views. It's quarter past five. Let's get the tents up. have been erected. There's my tent and Simon's tent and I'm thinking is this the perfect pitch in North Wales? Because I mean these views look you've practically got the glitters, the Snowden Ridge, you can see Trevan in the background a little bit of the car nevi. But you know, look at that view. And when I open my door in the morning, as long as it ain't cloudy, I'm gonna be greeted to that. That is absolutely stunning. You know, the grass is short, the ground's fairly level and flat. I think you'll find this, this camp spot hard to beat. Well, that's my opinion. Let me know in the comments what you think about it. Because I think that's amazing. Time for a bit of scran, because I'm absolutely starving. I'll just show you what I'm going to have. Oh yeah, first things first. I've got a new stove. It's the Soto Windmaster. And that is an early uh, Father's Day uh, present off my daughter Fionn, so thanks Fionn. I'm going to use this now. Uh, let's hope he lives up to the hype. So I've got some water in my uh, titanium pot. I'm going to have an all day breakfast. So what I'm going to do, boil some water, put that in there, warm that through. And I'm undeci undecided on what I'm going to have with the water which is in there when that's boiled. I might have a pasta and sauce, chicken and mushroom or a chicken and mushroom pot noodle. Still a bit hazy over there. Hoping for a nice sunrise in the morning. One observation on this new Soto Windmaster stove. I do like the size of the pot stand. Um, it holds that pot on there really well. And it's quite a big, big pot that is. So yeah, thumbs up from me so far. Looks good. So I'm going to let that do its thing now, let that boil and simmer, simmer through and warm it through and have a nice can of cider and just look at all those incredible views of the Aruri National Park um, At the end of the day it's uh, a Welsh National Park so I think they did the right thing uh, calling it Aruri, it's Welsh at the end of the day so yeah, it's, uh, it's all good from my angle like you know some people might disagree with me, disagree with me, but uh, you know we all got our own opinion on it. So yeah, can't wait to tuck into this now.
that's done. I'm happy with that. Um, the water boiled everywhere. It's gone all over my footprints, but that's no big, big issue. Yeah, it looks good. Time to have some food. So that's the all day breakfast done and dusted. I enjoyed that. Uh, pretty easy decision for the water. I better turn that down a minute. Because I think that's almost boiled or is boiled. Not far off. So yeah, pot noodle. So everything is in now, so everything's set up for a, a nice cosy night on the on the mountain. My sleeping bag is in, my sleeping pad is all inflated. So I'll just show you the little view from my tent. And it doesn't get any better than that. A little bit windy, nothing major, bit chilly, but nice and cosy in here. Yeah, we should have a good night. Looking forward to it. Me and Simon are all set up, all our bedding is out. I won't show you that, I've um, showed you that many times in the past. You've seen all that before. But it's time to eat now, and what I've got tonight, I've got a Watt kitchen. Chicken, chili, and Thai basil sauce with noodles. Got that out of B&M bargains, I think it was. One pound fifty. Had that before. That is gorgeous. So tasty. It's got a bit of a kick to it as well. I've also got some Matteson's smoked pork sausage. So I'm going to cut that up, add it to the noodles, mix it all in. So yeah, that's the that's the meal I got tonight. I've also got some salted peanuts, some mini chocolate Oreos, which I might have later. So yeah, got loads of food, a couple of beers. So let's start cooking. Food's all cooked. I haven't got a plate. So we're straight out of the pan tonight. Mm. We've had our food now. Just walking around, admiring the views. And it looks like we're gonna have a sunset tonight. Woohoo! Awesome. That don't happen very often. So when you get the chance, you've got to take it with both hands. So we're going to stick a camera over there a little bit later on, see what we can pick up. But can't get over this place. Can't get over it. It's got to be up there in the top 10 camping spots we've be, uh, been to, without a doubt. But the thing is, like, it's um, it's quite a popular place. We've had hikers coming up here all day. There's a young family over there in the shelter. But apart from that, yeah, no problems at all. It's near enough, a perfect camp spot. The only thing you've got to do is bring your own water up here, because there isn't any. But apart from that, all good. Brilliant. We've just come over to the stone shelter. Brought our sit mats over and a couple of beers. Because we're slightly out of the wind here and it's, it is quite warm. So we're having a sit down, a couple of cans. Just, just watching the sun go down. Look at that, beautiful. It's a perfect end to a perfect day. Um, the colours in the sky now overlooking towards Anglesey got a sun sunset see we do get them now and again not very often but it's always nice isn't it yep. perfect so we've got a time lapse set up hopefully it'll turn out good 
we're just mesmerised by this backdrop around Mile Elio. If you look up towards Mile Herbog and the Nanthler Ridge over that side, you can actually see like where the sun is set and the colours going behind the back of it as well. It's awesome. Morning from Moyle Elio. Set the alarm for 10 to 5. For some reason I woke up before the alarm at half past 4. And um, we just came out of the tent now and we've been greeted by this. We wanted a sunrise, I think we're gonna go and well I know we're gonna go and Absolutely fantastic. We got a match to set up the camera with a tripod and we're going to do uh, a time lapse of the sun rising. So, Mark's happy, I'm happy. Stunning, aren't they? Isn't it? Amazing. We couldn't have asked anything better, really, could we? To be honest, no. we've been asked for a sun. A sun a sunrise or a decent sunrise for for a while so I think it's gonna be good. I reckon that's pretty much perfect. Yeah. We'll see soon see what it's like. There's like one bit of cloud around these mountains, you can see every every one of them is just absolutely perfect. Beautiful.
we had an interesting encounter last night. I woke up at half two, just lying in my bag. I heard Simon snoring. Then all of a sudden, I heard a voice, right? And I tell you what, <laughs> the hair stood up on the back of my, on my neck, like I was like, what's going on here, like? And all of a sudden, some bloke, he walked past my tent, he tripped over my guy line, right? I'm not kidding you, right? This, this is no, no bullshit, right? He tripped over my guy line. He had a, he must have had a head torch or something because my whole tent lit up. And I was like, what the hell? Who's this like? And um, <coughs> I don't know if it was one guy or two or, or more like, but he had like a northern accent. And he walked past, tripped over the guy line. And I don't know, he must have gone that way. I don't know. But I got out of the tent about a minute later and there was no one there. And then Simon woke up, he was like, hear yeah, voices. I said, yeah, he just tripped over my guy line. And uh, That's mad, that, that was a bit, a bit scary at half two in the morning, like. And, oh, I just thought I'd um, share that with you. Just crazy. Now, what's he doing up here? That time of night, like. <laughs> crazy. What were you doing up here this time of morning? Yeah, what were we doing up here? <laughs> I was trying to sleep, and he was. <laughs> Mad. Right then guys, we've had another cup of coffee. We're gonna start packing down now. We don't wanna leave. We can sit here and watch this all day, but we can't. Uh, we've gotta get back down, we've got a four hour drive home. So yeah, let's start packing up then. We're all packed up, ready to go. As usual, no trace left. It's going to be sad to leave this place. But we'll be back. Definitely coming back to this spot. Fantastic. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. It really helps the channel. And if you're new to the channel, why not consider subscribing? Hit the notification bell and you'll be notified of any of our future adventures. So until the next one, we'll see you again. Cheers. Bye for now, guys.